How's it going, folks? It's your buddy Trev here, and right now we're at Lake Balboa. As you can tell, I've been MAA for a while. A lot of crazy things have been happening, work and what have you. I'm here, though. Let's go fishing. And today, we're going to review the 2022 Shimano Aldebaran BFS XG. Okay, so we're here right now at Lake Baboa, my little testing grounds, as you guys know. It's raining out here, but rain or shine, I'm here. Let's go fishing. We're going to talk about this reel. I have no complaints about the reel so far. I've been enjoying it. It's been uh, quite an extensive uh, amount of time that I've been using this reel. So honestly, I can't have any gripes about it as of yet. And we're going to just keep fishing this thing, and we'll tell more about it as we go fishing some more. Okay, and as always, you know me as the BFS Prophet. I always suit my reels up. So with this guy, as you saw my unboxing of the Avail spool for this, it's in there right now. Really liking that spool. It definitely helps free up the reel so it casts better. I would recommend that spool if any of you guys have this reel or are thinking about getting the reel with that spool. It works great. Only thing I'm waiting for is for them to come out with bearings for it. They don't have any ceramic micro bearings of the size, unfortunately. But hopefully soon that'll change, and once that happens, it'll make the reel work even better. Okay, as I'm fishing, I'm using the new Z-Man Micro Finesse Series Plastics. This is their Shads. It's a 1.75 inch bait, so almost 2 inches. And I have it coupled up with a 1 30th ounce jig head from Z-Man. It matches up really well with this bait. I would use those jig heads for sure. And so far I've caught a few little fish with it in my testing with that lure. Works pretty good. Hopefully we can catch something today and you guys will see that happen. But in terms of that, casting this thing, no problem, not even an issue. And this thing is a very quiet caster, I will say. It's a very, very quiet reel. I will say the one sacrifice you're gonna have to make when you do get the veil spool you will lose the silent tune feature that you get on the stock Aldebaran spool because it's missing the O-ring on the actual spool shaft, which is part of what the silent tune does. But honestly, I don't really notice any difference in terms of performance, if anything, better. Still quiet. I'm not noticing any louder noise increase from the spool. Cast easier, cast faster. So I'm going to do it without hesitation. So I don't mind that sacrifice. For the rod that I'm using with the Aldebaran today, it's the new Major Craft Fine Tail Area Stage. You guys see me use this rod very briefly before on the unboxing of this guy. It's a good little matchup for this. It's a good caster. It's a six foot four two piece ultralight, and I'm using four pound test fluorocarbon right now. This reel has the new FTB system that you guys are all well and familiar about. I know it's kind of a little bit ugly, but honestly, it's a good breaking system. They definitely refined it from the previous FTB that you found on the 2016 All the Baron. I do notice that this reel, you can do more fine point tuning to the brakes. You can use it at zero. It's sting, just keeps spinning and spinning. I would say it's a very forgiving brake system. Works good. I have no complaints. In terms of between this and our Daiwas, as we know, I'll talk about that in a future video. But I would say overall, the braking's better. You guys will like it. Most of your beginners will have an easier time with it, honestly. I have no problems with the brakes. Plenty strong enough. Plenty precise enough. Never had any issues as of yet. But we'll find out. Time will tell. I would say in terms of who should get this reel, beginners can use it. I've had no issues. Experts can use it. Intermediate people. I think everyone will grasp this reel pretty easily. It's definitely a little bit more of a beginner friendly reel compared to let's say the Daiwa Alphys. Not saying that reel's not beginner friendly, but I would say this is a little more of a forgiving reel. 
in terms of braking performance. So you guys will probably appreciate this reel. With this new reel, it has the ATG micro module gearing. Very good gear setup, it's smooth. I will say it's definitely more refined from the previous Aldebaran. Definitely smoother. It's a very nice retrieving reel. I will say it's probably one of the smoothest reels I have, one of them, probably in the top three for sure. You guys will like it, it's good. Brake dial, as you guys know, a lot of you guys don't really like it. I mean, it's not the most attractive thing in my opinion as well. But I will definitely say it's easier to adjust the brake dial because now instead of having a little sliver that they did on the previous one, now you can get both fingers on there and turn that wheel if you need to. Definitely easier. You can still do the one finger thing with your thumb. Definitely more easier to adjust on the fly, especially when you're out in the field fishing. It's a very convenient, very feature packed reel. This is pretty much the best thing you can get right now. All right, let's see. Oh, popped off. It was only about four and five inches anyway, so. They're out here, it's raining. I'm still gonna fish. Oh, look at that. A monster. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he choked it. He choked it. Look at that. He choked this. This guy is probably all of four inches, if that. Oh my goodness, guys. That's a new record right there. Don't be hating now. <laughs> oh, I got another one. Another mega monster here. Be careful, guys. There you have it. Just a quick little review of the new 22 Alt Baron BFS XG. I'm liking it. You guys will probably like it if you guys are holding out to see if, if it's any good. I would say yes, definitely. It's one of the top three reels, in my opinion, in my arsenal. You guys can't go wrong. Give it a try. And of course, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, it really helps the algorithms out. Let's get myself out there. Let's get this BFS thing going. I think it's the best kind of fishing there is. Call me biased, but hey, I love it, and you guys will love it too. All right, see you guys. If you guys want more technical specs on the 22 All the Baron BFS XG, I suggest you go to my unboxing video there you'll know all the details on the reel so you have an even better understanding of the reel.